This week has been quite exciting with homecoming, a home football game, and fun dress up days. At least it was supposed to be. Here at Freeport, students have been surprisingly up in arms about the dress up days, causing our own student council board to change half of the days. Now that the dust has settled, let's hear what they have to say. more into our dress up days and then everybody was making a fuss about them which I can understand like they were a little much but yeah and why do you view the dress up days as being a bit much no I was only like it's only because like it was a lot because I get our theme was wild west but it was a lot of wild west you know yeah. <laughs> a little yeah. too much for my liking no yeah. well thank you very much mm -hmm. Um, honestly, I thought it was a lot of, like, drama for no reason. It was just like, the theme was Wild West, the days were Wild West themed, and then people started changing it, so we had to change it, because everyone was going to wear different things, so we tried to get best of both worlds, so. And why do you feel like people were trying to change it? The days were, like, honestly, a little bit bad, but they were to correlate with the theme Wild West, which everyone in student council had voted on, so it wasn't just seniors or like the executive board, but I feel like since we did change it, we could have changed it to something better because we've had both PJs and Character Day already last year, so well, yeah. Thank you for your input. Yeah. Basically, there was some last minute decisions that had to be made about what the dress-up days for homecoming week were going to be. And so the executive board, which is a whole nother thing, made the last minute decision to just make the dress-up days. And they've wanted to basically make the dress-up days more involved in what the theme for homecoming actually is, which is Wild West this year. So they made all the themes Wild West themes, but that didn't go too well over with the student body. So a bunch of people tried changing them and then it was confusing because there was like four different sets of dress up days. So we had a new um, voting process where all of student council voted on the first two days, Monday and Tuesday. And then once we voted on our top five, that got sent to the entire student body and then they voted on it. So the dress up days now are pajama day. What's the second one? Dress as your favorite cartoon character day. And then Wednesday we go to school. Thursday is Wild West themed, cowboy, whatever you want to wear, and then Friday is our typical spirit day. And the last thing I'd like to ask you is, what are your personal opinions on the dress-up days? Personally, I don't think it's that serious. I think people were getting really out of hand with it, and they were getting really offended, which I understand, like seniors, it's their senior year, but a lot of people were saying things and being rude, and they probably shouldn't have been. So I think it was a little thrown out of proportion, but hopefully people are okay now. Well, sounds very interesting. The issue that happened with the dress up days is the fact that the executive board of the student council sat down before school started and kind of talked through like what we wanted to do. And we set aside some joke themes, some themes that we were like, yeah, these are fine because this goes with a the theme of our homecoming, which is Wild Wild West this year, which was voted on last year. Um, so we came up with America Monday, Denim Tuesday, then there's Dress Like Cowboy Day on Thursday, and Pretzel Pride Day on Friday. This was not liked by um, a majority of the student body. And so there were several things that went around of like, don't do these, we're going to do these days instead, blah blah blah, which were like, okay. So obviously there was a little bit of miscommunication and people weren't happy. So. Uh, the student council decided to send out a re-vote, or like a vote of what dress up days we should do, keeping dress like Cowboy Day on Thursday and Pretzel Pride on Friday, because that's what we always do. Um, so they had the choice of choosing the first two dress up days, which were the Monday and the Tuesday. Um, which we thought, yes, this is going to be a great idea. We came up with like some basic ideas like that. And so we were given those, and the whole student body could vote on them. Um, which gave us, yesterday was Pajama Day and today is Cartoon Character Day. People still don't like it. 
Whoop whoop de doo, cry me river. Like, we gave you a chance to redeem yourself. Didn't go your way. Darn. Um, so since homecoming was moved up to the middle of October to the end of September, um, the student council advisors and the executive board made the decision to just plan out all of the dress-up days way before school even started. That's because we had things to do like the parade, the assembly, the dance, like um, whatever else we had to do. So we just had a lot on our plate, so we thought just getting like the easy stuff out of the way before school even started would just be easier. Um, and then we posted them for everyone to see, and some people just weren't, just weren't, weren't not happy. And who was like the main people that weren't happy with the dress-up days? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know, just a couple people here and there. Um, I can give you some quotes, I'm not going to name any names, because you know. Well, I'm sure some quotes would be very newsworthy. Let's hear um, Well, I, I just remember there was, there was one that was like, what's up with these yee-yee bleep themes. Um, we had one, um, it was, um, be careful who you elect to student council because then they'll do country S word like this. Um, to which I want to respond right now, um, you guys elected us, you know, so. <laughs> um, let's see what else. And then there was one that was just at me. Um, she knows who she is. Um, it said, um, just because you run that one thing doesn't mean you run the whole school. And um, to that, I just want to just clear up any controversy. Um, I am the elected student body president. I'm not trying to run anything, just trying to run student council. So. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Matt. Thank you.